what intrigues you and interests you um, are probably more along the lines of what we've been talking about so far. And, but I don't want to be that kind of conversation all the time. Okay. Because I think the text actually helps you. Okay. You know, what I, what we just had, what we had just talked about, um, I think it is only helpful to a certain level because my wisdom and my compassion is limited. Okay. And although I try my best, the text that was actually spoken by the Buddha, they offer really genuine wisdom and compassion. It may not seem, you know, as readily satisfying as if, you know, as if they are directed specifically at your question or situation. But amazingly, what I find is that the t so a lot of times the text speaks right to our, our situation or there's something that we stumble upon or, or that dawns on us um, okay. at that time or later. Um, what I also remember one thing about my past experience with learning about some some of the teachings is that sometimes the teacher would be saying certain things that I actually I didn't get at the time. I didn't understand it at the time, and I knew I didn't understand it at the time. And uh, but what was really fascinating was that several years later, for instance, what I had heard before would actually come back to me. And it would just click with it, either with a certain situation that I was in, or you know, click with some type, some condition, you know, that was in my life at that particular time, and that listen all of a sudden cl clears up and it becomes, you know, it makes sense to me. So that's so that's one of the things uh, that you know, to keep in mind and then to be patient